Well, new at five, a Mobile City Council member expressing concern over the city's policy on police chases, and that's after a car crashed into a house this week. Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby joins us live with more on this story. And Brendan, Councilman Corey Penn is asking some questions. Yeah, that's right. He is Shelby and Lenise. Councilman Penn didn't offer any specific recommendations, but he does say that the city should review the guidelines of the police department for when and when not to chase suspects. The chase happened on Sunday evening, beginning in the area of Somerville and Wagner Streets, when police saw a vehicle race by at a high rate of speed. Police say that the driver refused to stop, setting off a chase that ended when the vehicle crashed into a home in the 600 block of Stanton Road. The driver, Joseph Pritchett, died in the collision. The police department's policy calls for an evaluation of at least 13 factors when determining whether to chase. Factors like the time of day, safety of the officer and nearby citizens, and the danger a suspect might pose if he's allowed to flee. Councilman Penn says that he has concerns about these pursuits in residential neighborhoods. Public Safety Director Lawrence Batiste offering a strong defense of the policy and how officers applied it in this case. We had an accident to occur. It was a high-speed chase in um, the Tomoville community on Stan Road where a house was hit. Um, that's my concern is that we have to do something to stop these things. We had a gentleman that's 32 years of age that chose to flee from law enforcement. No policy and procedure can address that. What we have to have is compliance and we have to hold those individuals that choose to flee from law enforcement accountable for their behavior. Mobile Police launched Pursuit Alert, that's an app in 2021, that lets you know when a chase might be taking place near your location. But Director Batiste says that the city has experienced some problems with that program. Reporting live, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.